Hi, welcome to Brooks's store this morning. We're fixing to put the biscuits in and so we can serve everybody hot and hearty breakfast. Anyway, but the daylight savings time has changed and that makes me happy because now I can walk in the evenings without it being uh, dark at five o'clock. On Saturday mornings, I cook up until, and then we just sell till I run out. So, I mean, bacon is not a big deal, but when it comes to my biscuits and and uh, gravy and all of that stuff, um, I just cook up a batch and then we just sell until we run out. Um, it's different than lunch, so there's that prep time beforehand. That's why Katie and I are rushing around and now people are walking in. They come in every Saturday morning like clockwork, right guys? Almost. I'm working on it, so hang tight on me. Oneida. Oneida? Well, that's not too far. Not too far. Originally from, originally from Indiana. Oh. We retired down here eight years ago. Oh, okay. Y'all, uh, uh, how long you been coming over to Brooks's? Oh, gee. Since we found out about it. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, we, we come to rugby and then. Used to you know, come to rugby and then it was burnt down and the restaurant did. Yes, you stayed there? Yeah. Yeah. Then we started coming here, well, it's been five, six years ago, right? Yeah, at least. Well, how about that? A neat place to come to. Yeah, and I was supposed to come get breakfast on Saturday morning, ain't it? That's right. And the food's delicious. It is, ain't it? Yeah. Trying to get her to do more than, one, more than one morning for breakfast. I know. Good. She's uh, a little hard on her, I think, getting yeah. all the breakfast ready. She doesn't that's uh, we. I'll tell you what we did last night is uh, so Mimi has been being really good to Tiffany, and she's been shopping for her when she goes yes. to the to the uh, to the uh, Walmart. Walmart. So we split the grocery list up because I could only get White Lily flour at Burnett and Allard. They don't carry it at Walmart Jamestown. So I picked up half the groceries and she picked up half, half the groceries. So we're carrying groceries in from last night. So, and I have to make pancake mix. All right, ladies. It's all right. You can't. You can't hardly. I say this jokingly, but somebody steals all the rye bread in Jamestown, so it's hard to find. So this is Frank and Deb. I know you've already talked to them, but they are early. They come in here early every Saturday morning, and I have to uh, kind of contain myself to not feel guilty that it's so cold. But next week on Monday, Shane Sexton from Sexton Heat and Cooling uh, is coming to put central heat and air, so I'm super duper excited. I thought about leaving the uh, country store experience for everybody to experience because it's, it is cold in a country store and it's very hot in a country store. But then I decided, no, I want it to be comfortable. So we will have central heat and air after next week and they can come in and we might just put like a vent right here <laughs> and uh, it'll have to be up above we decided. And so that way when they come in on Saturday mornings, <laughs> we'll if there's nice any warm. more cold weather, yeah. take our coats off. you can take your <laughs> coats off. So anyway, um, but you know, the other day I had a bunch of people in here and I thought, I started to feel bad and I thought, well, it's part of, it is it part is, of the country yeah. store experience because there isn't really that, there wasn't really that luxury of having all that. So, but anyway, we're excited. So we're going to be comfortable and uh, have us some, some heat and some air. Yep. So anyway, all right. Thank you. Yeah. Oh. Are you going to need this bacon now or? You got the first thing made looked like this morning, huh? <laughs> good, good homemade sausage too. That's good, good sausage. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Enjoy. Y'all 
will. Believe me. My name's Sam Lyons, and I'm from Enid, Oklahoma. I'm originally from Glasgow, Kentucky. So you run into us in the parking lot out there. I run into you in the parking lot, and I recognized you when you got out of that big RV. And uh, so you come how many miles to get here? It's about about eleven to twelve hundred. Yeah. Wow, that's quite a drive for a bologna sandwich. <laughs> I came here to get a fried bologna sandwich. And some prayer. And some prayer. Because we're gonna pray for you in a little while. Uh, you brought Tiffany something here. Tell us about this rope. This rope is, if you ever watch a rodeo on. When the cowboys run out of the, they're on horseback and they let a bull or a cow loose and they ride their rope and throw it down and then they got to tie their feet together. This is the rope they do it with. And a friend of mine gave it to me and I wanted it to hang in R.M. Brooks store. Aw, thank you. And I'm honored. I'm honored that it came all that way. Yeah, but this is about 30 feet long. It, you can feel it. It's the real thing. Yeah. I'm going to have him write his name down and where he's from, and we're going to hang it on the wall. <laughs> All righty, well, uh, he said it's hard to find out here in the country. Oh, it's hard to find out. I came from Glasgow down 127, and I, I had to ask people where to go. Uh -huh. he, did, he didn't use GPS. Oh, No, wow. I didn't. I, I should have, and I didn't. Yeah. But I ran into, he should take, I saw a sign said the old rugby road, so I took it and over it, and I said, well, this is it. <laughs> <laughs> Here it is. So you served in the Air Force, looks like. I see your hat there. You were talking about that yeah. a few minutes ago. What year did you serve? I was in, I went in in 1966, and I got out in, I guess, uh, 72. 72, during the Vietnam War, huh? Yep, two and a half years. Two and a half years. Well, we thank you for your service. Yes. We appreciate that. We thank you for coming 1,200 miles out to East Tennessee to visit yeah. us. Yeah. Yeah, I just, I, I, you know, you look on the phone and it came up on the Appalachian Channel and I saw this store and I said it brought back so many memories of little stores out in the middle of nowhere you'd go to when you were children. What did you think about the pot belly stove when you come in, Bernie? I saw that and it was night, had nice heat coming off of it. It does. It does, for sure. Well, but I'm going to buy some spoon art and a cup and you name and a, yeah. and a couple of t-shirts. Awesome. <laughs> Awesome. Is there something that I'm specifically praying for? Just just my trip and that I, how much I love to be here. Okay. All right. And you're having digestive issues? No, not now. Not now. You not got now. I got it all taken care of. All right. <laughs> so, Father God, I just thank you for today, Father, that um, you just woke us up this morning and give us another day for to live here on this earth and just to do the work for your kingdom, Father God. And as this man has drove all this way, Father, I just pray a hedge of protection around him as he travels home, Father, and, and that you watch over him, Father God, and his family, Father God. And let him just be stirred in his spirit, Father, to speak about who you are and all the great and mighty things that you have done for him during his lifetime. And we are just thankful that he is here, Father. We thank you that he made it here, Father God, and that he will make it home, Father. And we just bless your precious name. Uh, amen. In Christ's name, amen. Amen, yeah. Yeah, so. I, I really appreciate you. And I've, I've watched, and this store is so much smaller than it actually look on the film. Yeah. But it's a wonderful, wonderful, that parrot in the, in the yeah. cage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, So man. a funny story, I don't know if I've ever told it before, but um, so when we opened up, Polly was over here and um, her wings were tore off of her and she just looked horrid. And Gary said, Ugh, you need to get rid of that. And I said, oh no, no. no that's Polly. <laughs> and so I meticulously grew her wings back together and um, hung her up and and my my son and my nephew had tore them off and um the when our grand opening there was two men and at the time i didn't have any tables back here and there was two rocking chairs and polly was on the floor and uh and i remember them coming back and sitting and they were rocking they said boy we sure do remember polly and so i said let mm. me go out here and get him <laughs> so but if i had thrown polly away it would yeah. not have been good, so I'm glad that... There's uh, so many memories for so many people in this building, I'm sure. There is, there and is. And for you from your childhood on. There is, and uh, I'm honored. And just, it's it's an honor to be able to come in here and do this every day. So, yeah. we're, we are grateful. So. And God bless you. I really appreciate you, you. And, and what you've done in this store. And 
these young lady and young gentlemen, uh, you're, what you do is important. Yes. What you might not realize is how important it is for people to see. Yes. yes. This this territory and the people that you talk to and the people that you love. Yes. God bless you. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> All righty. Thank you for coming out and visiting with us today. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, you're going to stay for just a little bit, right? Because I need to get all your info. All right, I'm gonna go Well, I'll, I, I probably, I'll probably have to go on back to Glasgow, so okay. I'll stay here a little while. And well, I'm going to go get something for you to write your name on. All righty. And, and any information you want me to have, and I'll hang that up there, okay? All righty. All right. Ah, can I have a hug? Yes, you can. God bless you. Oh, God bless you, too. Thank you so much. You have made my day. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, how you doing? I'm doing great. Where y'all from? We're from Northern Indiana. Northern Indiana? Yeah. Yeah, did y'all watch our videos about the store? I did, yes. Yeah. That's why I wanted to stop in. We were on our way home from Florida and we swung over and wanted to stop in and see you guys. Well, you caught us here today. We kind of stopped by to get some lunch and uh, got a little bit of video and talking to some different people. What y'all's right. names? Uh, Glenn Helmuth, Brian Alice Helmuth. Well, glad to have you here in East Tennessee. So, what's your name? Morning Gold. I, I used to be a Chambers when I we come over here, me and my daddy and mother and brother. Now and you we'd go over to that barn right over there and get furniture. Well, that's not the exact barn it was in. The barn was across the street. They tore the Bob Bargain Bark okay, down. Well, now, it was over there in that field right over okay. to the left of it. Well, it yeah. looks like it's that. Okay. Yeah, it looks like that one, but they tore that one down. That got, was a secondary thing, Right, wasn't it? probably, okay, yeah. yeah. So, y'all bought furniture there when yeah. you was young? yeah. Still, did you say you still had some of it, maybe? Oh, yeah, I've, uh, I've still got, uh, I had my mother's sewing machine, and I just let my son take it home with him uh, Sunday or Well, Saturday. how about that? Needs bought that over there. Uh, we, yeah, we bought it over there. How about that? Yeah. It, was it fun coming? Do you remember the general store, too, as a oh, kid? Oh, yeah, we'd come in here, and then my daddy would buy cheese, and we'd get us some blown in stuff, and then we'd go out there to a roadside table, and we'd pull over, and we'd have a picnic before we'd go home. Yeah, <laughs> we'd picnic at one of those old tables out there. Yeah, uh, but that was fun back then, wasn't it? Yeah, it was uh, in the the sixties is when we come. In the sixties, how about uh -huh. that? They had bologna sandwiches back then. Oh uh, yeah, they made bologna sandwiches and they sold bologna and uh, they sold that hard cheese my daddy liked and uh, you could get them pops and I th I guess I remember I think they sold guys here too. Yeah, they did back then. They and, sure did. Uh. uh Anyway, we'd, we'd always come over here and buy something, and then we'd go home after we bought furniture. <laughs> well, that's a good story. Thank you all You're welcome. for telling us about it, and be yeah, looking for it on the YouTube video. We'll have it on there one day before too long, okay? okay? May God bless you and your trip. All right. Thank you, guys. You Appreciate you. Okay. All right. So, uh, what's y'all's name? I'm Dawn. Dawn? Yes. I'm Bob. Bob, well, where y'all from? Pennsylvania, you said. Pennsylvania, the yes. Poconos. Oh, okay. Dig, Up, Dig, Digman's Ferry, actually. And uh, we're about 20 miles from Digman's Ferry, but that's our address. We're at, at Bipex Pond. Um, it's just a little. There's only 486 full-time residents. The rest are all what we call cabin people. They own state cabins, and it's their vacation homes. Mm -hmm. So y'all brought your uh, trailer down, camper trailer, to yes, sir. Uh, to <coughs> camp and come straight here just off some other places or? well we wanted to come here for on our way out to Oklahoma we went out to see my mom but we ran we're running kind of late so we went to Chattanooga and did what we were, had scheduled there and then on our way back we figured we would stop here because Bob watches you all the time on YouTube and he's like oh we really got to go there when we're down there down that way so on our way back we figured we'd, we'd come here him. We took a right turn or a left turn instead of a right turn. <laughs> Got lost for a few minutes. Uh, yes. I'm continually lost, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do y'all think about the store? Love it. Great. The hospitality, the friendship. I mean, I walked through that door and they treated me like I was a neighbor. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, it was. It's it's unbelievable. So it's. Was it, uh, live up to your expectations from watching the videos? Yes. So, Yep. Yes, yes it did. Bologna sandwiches were good. Awesome, Excellent. absolutely awesome. Thank you. Um, coffee's good, and I'm crazy about coffee. Coffee is good. 
Yes, got me some coffee this morning. It's kind of cold out there. Did y'all stay warm in your camper last night? We did. Yes. The uh, water line froze last night. Uh, on us, <laughs> our, our hose. Uh-oh. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. It got down to like 25 degrees probably. Yeah, it was Tonight's going to get down to about 15. Oh, we uh, need to move on, honey. I think we need to go south a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for the next two nights, it's going to be cold. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I know what you mean. So, yeah, well, I just wanted to come over and uh, talk to you in a few minutes and let you know we appreciate you coming by to visit and appreciate you watching our videos. Sure. Thank we you watched so much. them last night after we left here. We sat and watched on our fire stick. We watched some uh, videos of you last night. Yes. Well, yeah, yeah. That's a, yeah. That fire sticks are a handy way to watch on TV, to watch YouTube. Ain't yep. it? Yes. Yeah, it is. Yeah. That's exactly what we do a lot of times, watch right on our fire stick. What happened? Did you see hers and think they look good? Yes. Yeah. yes. Exactly. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> well, enjoy your breakfast, guys. Thank you. Thank you. What, what you got there in your hand? I was going to take measures. So. Measure oh, you made. Oh, measures my. Measures of pancakes. Uh oh. You got to make I mean, <laughs> four inches. Wow. It keeps the girl. Yeah, she, she might kill me and you both. Of well, you get we'll make sure we put this on the video so she, you, you don't That's make. That's not what it is. It's the smallest one. I used to kind of make a little bit of noise about, you know, here's and pancakes this side but now um normally they're right around about six inches and this one looks like it's got a pretty good pretty good amount of blueberries in it a little heavier on this side but good distance it didn't make six inches though did it no, I didn't, but you know, I ain't gonna, I won't be complaining about it. No, don't say nothing to her about it because the next time it might be even smaller. He's gonna put the extra blueberries as uh, <laughs> diameter. Mike is like Andrew. So, today instead of making him a huge pancake, they were supposed to tell you that we made you a baby pancake because you didn't ask for one. So, that was out of the kindness of my heart. Oh. So, that's what happens when certain people, I won't say men, they complain <laughs> before they actually know. So, anyway, and I just know. He brought a measuring tape. Yeah, I know I know how he is. And uh, we just got to love certain people where they're at. This is a wonderful breakfast, by the way. Tastes, <laughs> tastes really good. Come on, Mike. What's well, that yeah. man? I mean, what's is that, that all you got? Is that all you got? No, just... He hit his measuring tape. That's right. I'm he hit it. He hit it. Well, usually he gets a big pancake, and he measures it, and today he didn't ask for a pancake, so I told Katie, I said, I'm going to give him a baby pancake. Uh-huh. <sighs> still has, some, still has something to say about it. You can't win for losing. This is why I need prayer on Friday nights. <laughs> Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday! No, I'm just kidding. We're just going to cover it all. No, uh, we just wanted to give a shout-out to Jack, who has had hip replacement. Yes. Right? Yeah. And we've been praying for you, Jack. And so, anyway, we just wanted to love on you a little bit. All the guys, they extremely miss you and all your intelligence. You guys, am I not right? No. Am I not right? <laughs> you don't miss it. <laughs> so, anyway, so we just wanted to say hi to you, Jack. And uh, like I said, there's Katie and Mo and Mimi, and we love you so much. So, we can't wait for you to come back. So this is Jeff. Hello. He's like semi-locally from Ohio. Kentucky. Kentucky. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, wait. It's like right on the border. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, right so he does these really cool things that someone drove really somewhere in Tennessee. They drove here. I can't remember the guy's name. Please forgive me. But he. Yeah, if, he if he sees this, I I got your card and I lost it, and uh, I'm really sorry. I want to get a hold of you. <laughs> yeah. So there's a guy that drove here that actually seen what we're fixing to show you that Jeff does. And he, I thought it was really cool because we have not talked about how artistic he is. And your video just kind of glanced at it and he's seen it. So he makes these carving knives. And so I'm fixing to show you how talented this man is. Young, young man. <laughs> anyway, so check these out. Are these not the coolest things? So I'm going to leave you because if I don't get to cook in some breakfast, but will you tell him maybe a little bit, Jeff, about how you got started? And These are all knife carved. I used some gouges on them, but uh, 
I started carving here about two years ago, and uh, is actually here in rugby. So most of my carvings, um, her in particular, is actually out of the woods here. Like there's a down tree behind the church that was blown over in a windstorm, and uh, we harvested it. Um, and then I just take it and carve it up in the gnome. So. The gnomes are actually key here to rugby. They're only sold here in rugby. Um, they're actually from rugby. They're made in different locations wherever I make them. But, uh, but you're saying you got the wood here in rugby? Well, yeah, the wood is Now, why are they is only here. sold here? Is that just your thing that you just want to sell them in rugby? Um, yeah, because I want rugby to benefit from it. Okay. So this is Jack. We named this Jack. This is Jack. And so I asked him that I needed Jill. So we got Jack and Jill. And then the other day I seen this and on on Facebook and I said I messaged him, I said, Jeff, I love birds. Can I have a red bird? And so anyway, so we got Cardinals. Don't know which one's going home with me yet. <laughs> but anyway, so big shout out to uh can't think of your name, but I'll find your business card. But he did get his knife. Did you talk about it? Yeah, yeah. I um I have I carved something else, but I can't remember what I carved with your knife. But yeah, I yeah, if you can get a hold of me. Yeah. Because I, I, I lost your card, and I'm really sorry. I'm... And I can't think about it, but it was on a Band-Aid. I'll have to find it. I might actually have it. So, anyway. Yeah. So, so, Newport, Tennessee. So, I'm a little lost. You saw the guy came about a knife you made? No, 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 no. He, he, he has a knife sharpening carving business, and he's seen these as in a video passing. Okay. We hadn't talked about it. And he drove all the way here, actually broke down, got a ride here, him and his wife, and stayed for several hours with me and brought a knife for me to give to Jeff. So I mailed the knife to Jeff because he thought these were super cool, and that's what he does. And the girls are coming right now to take your order. Girls, I need somebody up. I got the story now. So the guy sent you a knife yeah. because he saw these. Yeah. And I thought he didn't buy one of these then, did he? No, no, these, these aren't for these are for Oh, they're not for sale. No, I just started so I've only been carving for a little over two years now. Yeah. Um, so I didn't really want to sell them. Mostly uh, the gnomes that have been around, like rugby, down, they're all, I just, I give them to everybody. You I've give found, them away? Oh, yeah. But, I mean, now they are for sale down at the commissary. Okay, you got yeah. some for sale down there yeah. at the commissary. I have how, quite, a few, quite a few carvings down there. Okay, so what do they start out at uh, on the uh, price range? They go anywhere from 20 I think the most expensive is 45 So, yeah, so that's... 20 to $45, depending. It's just depending on detail and all that. So, yeah, it looks like it takes quite a bit of time to do one of those. Yeah, it's... Um, they're about 10 to 12 hours a piece. Oh, wow. Uh, with all, all the way to carving, sealing, painting. And then they're sealed with a beeswax on top of that. So they, they're they sealed, completely sealed, but uh, they have, like, more of an antique look to them. I like I like to try and make them look like something your grandpa would do. You know what I mean? That's the look I was trying to go for. I try to go for. Well, good job on them. So, yeah, they, they, if somebody wants to buy one, they can come by the Rugby yeah. Village at the yep. commissary and pick one up. Absolutely. All right. Well, good talking to you. Well, thank, thank you. you. You like old stores or just what, what yeah, you Yeah, old about? store, old time feel. Want to get some classic southern food, I guess, I was hoping. So I came to this diner because um, I heard it was really good, and I saw it posted on one of the buildings saying that it was like an old gas station. So I just followed the directions. Well, what's your name? Patrick. Patrick? Well, good to have you out this morning. And, uh, uh, we'll probably try to uh, see what you think about your food before you leave. What'd you order this morning? Uh, biscuits and gravy. Biscuits and gravy. Yeah. That's a standard around here. Wow. All righty. So you, how long have you lived in Tennessee now? Just about a year. About a year? Yeah. Okay. Still getting used to it. I, I know the, the Yankee joke. Oh, yeah? What's that? What do you call somebody from the north? A Yankee. What do you call somebody from the north who doesn't leave a damn Yankee? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, I like that. You know, Katie made me an omelet one time. She when did. you weren't here, it was delicious. Aw, she can cook. She's going to make somebody a good wife. Alright. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Tell her that it was a really bad omelet so that she won't make me do breakfast cooking. Oh, that's <laughs> terrible. Wow, that goes to Kara. Kara. I just like, well, when do you hit again? And I just like, let's do it on down and shimmy on down and get it. Yeah, the 
Yeah, I just wonder if you got 40 in there. Well, Do we need any coffee here, guys? Are we all good? Well, since we need, we need an action shot. Uh, yeah, a little <laughs> warm up. You're so funny. Excuse me, I'm gonna reach over you. Okay, I'm gonna walk around with this. All right, there you go, sweetie. Thank you. Thank you. Just, just warm up. What do you mean? You're supposed to have a big birthday party. What did I, did I get this and that into that? No, I figured I'm going to be 60 all year, so I just got to pick the right time. I remember I was, uh, yeah, I was, there was going to be a big party. I just, uh, you're going to be how old? 60. Oh, I am not. 60. Yes, no, I am. No way. Yes, I am. Really? I feel 20, so I'm good. <laughs> all right, thanks, guys. And by the way, these are my favorite. This is my favorite table. Favorite? The local. Oh, what are you talking about? He was your favorite. <laughs> 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 All the discrimination here. He told. Get her hand over. Well, thank you. To know me is to love. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Good. Well, I'm glad you guys had a good night's sleep. Thank you. Guys, thank you so much for coming. Good for you. All right. Are you leaving? Okay. They stay in the camera last night, too. Oh. <laughs> All right, awesome. So now, I need to go fix the box. So you want to fix what? I'll show you. I'm going to get right behind you. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you, meet you guys. Thank you so much. We'll be talking to you another time. Yeah. We have this nifty little box now that I got together for her. So we're going to go in and take him. He is in sight. What's the date today? Today's the 18th, right? So Dan should be in sight five. So we're going to go in here. We're going to pull his, his paper out, right? And we're going to make sure that he paid and check him all off. And he's done. And then we're going to put him back in check out so he's gone that was the people that just left that's people that just left and then i made this really cool board for her is so this for the camping that's for the camping so she can mark it off right. each, each spot right so he um where are we at here march so the 18th that was dan he just left so just so she knows who she has coming in and who she's got leaving. So I just did it something quick and easy for her. Well, good job. Right? Thank you. <laughs> Hello. I've, Hello. I've come across you a few times before. Well, yes. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you doing this morning? Fine. Really nice. I love the way this Come get you some breakfast? Pro late breakfast. Late, yeah. <laughs> I've been trying to order breakfast, too, and I ain't got around to it. I'm going to get it you can. I'm going to get in line with you. Jackson. <laughs> Action Jackson. Hey, good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. Are you coming over? How are you? Oh, Later I'm today. Is mm -hmm. your wife coming? I was super surprised when my mom told me you got a camper. I'm like, wow. Oh, did you see it out there? Yeah, I did. I saw you here on Wednesday morning. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Doing all right, buddy? Good. How are you doing? And then tomato. You're doing great. Yeah. And then two pieces of sausage. <laughs> Can I do two fried bologna sandwiches? We are not doing anything like that. Can we do fried bologna right now? Uh, fried bologna sandwiches? Yeah. Okay. Good. Perfect. So two fried bologna. What would you like on them? Uh, just some mayo and cheese. You got it. And as far as the cheese goes, are you going to mm -hmm. um, Yes. Okay. <laughs> it makes it so awesome. Oh, isn't it amazing? Oh, it I is. I love it. That's my favorite one. Mm -hmm. Okay, and anything else for you? Uh, I'll just drink? grab me a drink. Okay, fantastic. And what is your name? Tanner. Tanner. Hey, can I get two scrambled eggs? Sure. And toast, please? Do you want two pieces of toast? No, just one. Just one. Okay, and what is yours? Carol. I'm sorry? Carol. Carol? Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. Are you going to have coffee? You brought coffee. My daughter brought me coffee. That's fine. <laughs> Give me uh, two BLTs with egg. Two BLTs with egg? 
Yeah. That's a that's a good order. <laughs> yeah, right. That's it. That's it. And what is your first name? Jamie, you need to bring the curls. Yeah. Just when we bring it out, we like to just call you by name. So <laughs> have a seat anywhere you like. All right, thank you. All right, this is Jimmy here. I've seen him several times. He's been on a few different videos here and down at uh, Muddy Pond. He's on that video. So he ordered him two BLTs with eggs. Is that his normal breakfast? Is that what he usually eats? That's pretty close. Pretty close. Yeah. And then some. Then some. <laughs> Take a piece of that toast stuff for a minute. See what that looks like. Uh -huh. Just a growing boy. <laughs> Still growing, ain't you? Well, yeah. <laughs> All day, every day. <laughs> so this is, this is your son over here, you said? That's my son-in-law. Son son-in-law, so this is your daughter then? Yes, mm -hmm. sir. Okay, what's your name? Megan. Megan and... Uh, Tanner. Tanner? Yes, sir. Well, <laughs> I'll let you eat. I just want to come over and, and film that uh, two BLTs. Uh, that's, quite, <laughs> that's quite a good job there. Thank you. <laughs> This is Boss Hog. Tell I uh, let's see. He's doing YouTube. You're good? Okay. So he's out here in the campground staying in uh, site three. And just actually we were congratulating him earlier because he closed on his property. Uh, this at Sheep Ranch was not too far from here. Uh, about five miles. Yeah. So tell him where you're from. I'm from a little town called Stark, Florida. Oh yeah? And uh, I sold my property within two days of it going on the market for $8,600 more than I put it on the market for. Congratulations. And uh, sold that and uh, come up here and bought this property and I'm building a small little cabin. You've been living here at the campground? For about, about a month, month now. About a month? So you're getting, getting ready to move on to your property? As soon as I can get a, a, a dry structure. A dry structure? <laughs> Now, why'd you call him Boss Hog for? That's what he said yeah, his name was. I go by, <laughs> my name is James David. I go by JD. And my nickname's been, of course, as you know, JD. What, what do you think of normally when you go, when you hear JD? Jefferson Davis Hogg. Okay. From the Pizza Hazard. Okay. So, that's my, that's, that's been my nickname since I was a little boy. Yeah, how about that? That's what he told me his name was, so that's, that on the phone, so that's what I call him. Boss Hog wanted a camping spot. Boss Hog wanted a camping spot, so I and, said, and, and I Katie thought it was it on, hilarious. I actually put it on my phone where the caller ID shows Boss Hog on the caller ID. Yeah. <laughs> how about that? Thank you. Thank you. 